sense, this is non-fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, you were entertaining. What's good everybody, it's your boy Nonfiction come back at you one more time with a brand new reaction. And this is the reaction for, I guess you could say the long awaited Candyman trailer, official trailer number two. We got the first trailer, I want to say about a year ago in February, I believe. And that's when, that's right at the prime of when everything was happening. So of course, everything stops. Everything stops in, in the world. So they're bringing, they're coming back with their official second trailer. Uh, what's funny is when the first trailer came out, you heard a little bit about it. You didn't hear too, you didn't hear too much about it. No real news. And I still kind of haven't really heard any news about the movie. I mean, I, I remember the first trailer, first trailer kind of gave me some of those same feelings from when I watched it when I was a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Um, but let's just get into the trailer and then we'll see what's up. So once again, Candyman official trailer number two, uh, as far as what day it's coming out, it's going to hit theaters August 27th. So let's get to it. Once again, Candyman, this is the official trailer number two. Let's go. This is where it all began. The story of Candyman. Local character, he'd walk around handing out candy to the neighborhood kids. One day, a couple of kids get razor blades in their candy. Police come around. <laughs> the That's when I saw the true kid. face of fear. Get on your knees. Hands, hands, hands. They beat him, tortured him, killed him right there on the spot. A couple weeks later, more razor blades and more candy. He'd been innocent. So he's real. Candyman ain't a he. Candyman's the whole damn hive. If you're out here looking for Candyman, you ask me, stay away. I feel People really connected listen. to this story. Go on. Right here, in this neighborhood, the legend started. Uh-huh. And the legend is... If we say mm -hmm. his name five, five times. times while looking in the mirror, yeah. we could summon him. Summon the Candyman. Hell no. Candyman. Anthony, no. Candyman. Stop. I don't want to get creeped out in my new apartment before well, the little cut out. Black people don't I need to be He's the executive producer. Makes sense. I dare you. Don't say that. Say his name. Candyman. Candyman. You better not do that last Don't one. Say it. Candyman. Candyman. You want to be name. a part of the story, right? No. Say his name. Candyman. Did that get blue? Oh, yeah, you bugging out. Anthony? Anthony? Anthony. Anthony. Are you okay? Anthony. Oh. What the hell is going on? Yeah. This neighborhood is haunted. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. I brought him back. Candyman isn't real. He chose you. He has purpose for you. Tell everyone. <laughs> New to the neighborhood. <laughs> you should say it. Candyman. Say his name. The trailer looked freaky. Google Fi, a phone plan by Google. No, please not. That joint looked, it definitely looked cre creepy. Like, got me like, like this. <laughs> Candyman, huh? Don't say that name. I remember when we was kids and we, I remember seeing the original. I don't know what it was, but it just, the way it was shot and some of the realism of how he became who he became. Because he, you can just the feeling you can feel that creation you can feel it the 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 anger the the sadness the hatred you can feel it by how they introduced him originally and it feels like this is not necessarily rebooting anything it's more so like just continuing that story but just because he's been gone for so long didn't mean doesn't mean he doesn't exist you know what i'm saying in this world so i'm definitely 
remember when I told you guys a long time ago how, you know, most scary movies don't ever really, like, get to me. Of course, you might get a little jump scare here, but I'm like, we like, I, I want to watch it, but I kind of don't want to watch it because <laughs> it reminds me of stuff. And I told you how, you know, it wasn't like all the other scary movies, none of the Conjuring, just all those other craps or The Ring or none of those, but like how it and the other one was The Candyman. The it and The Candyman felt because they, they used real things that we we knew, you know what I'm saying? Like the clowns and then uh, everybody in all black neighborhoods, there's somebody's house got the candies. They got the sweets. Somebody's grandma or somebody's grandma who has an uncle <laughs> or their grandpa got the sweets. That's in most black neighborhoods. Well, at least when I was growing up. When I was growing up, there was always somebody. There was always somebody. Somebody, mama, who never let uh, their friends go home hungry. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was always selling Kool-Aid or lemonade or this, this different thing. It was always so. These characteristics, when I grew when I was younger, we had seen them in a neighborhood. So it made these characters a little bit more believable. You know what I'm saying? So this one feels like it's digging into that same lore with the, you know, the guy who's giving out the candy. Even though he probably was, he's probably as innocent as all get out. But what happened between him and the police created this re- this vengeful and angry being. So, like I said, it. I don't know what it was about the story. Of it. It. It just. It. It made the most jumpiest in Candyman. Candyman made me feel like. Yeah. I'm not saying that name like that. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to the trailer. My name is Nonfiction. Man, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, week, wherever you are in the world today. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell. And if you think your friends or family would like it, clear out. There you go. Think your friends or family would like it. Go ahead and share it. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you need to share it. Share it in between in, in your groups with your friends. And tell them to come through and say what's up. So, with that, I'll definitely catch you on the next one. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm out, you guys.